Hey there, what is going on? Rich Demuro here, Rich on Tech, and check it out. Look at this, the brand new iPhone X. Oh, wait a second, not the X. It's actually called the iPhone 10, even though it's written iPhone X. So take a look at this phone, and the first thing you notice, the screen goes all the way to the edges. 5.8 inch screen on there, and there is no home button. We'll talk more about that in a moment. But first, let's just take a look at the bottom. So you still have your lightning jack on the bottom, lightning port, whatever you want to call it. Then on the side, you'll notice, look at that. The uh, sleep power wake slash Siri button is now bigger than before. And that's because you're going to be using it more to activate Siri. That's how you now summon her in addition to, hey, Siri. And look at that. Look, look how good Siri is at transcription. She even sees what I'm saying there. Uh, now we go to the top of the phone. And uh, well, there's nothing on there, no headphone jack. And on the side, you still have your volume up and down, plus your little, um, you know, do not disturb ringer rocker there. Um, and then on the back of the phone, you've got your cameras, and they're now in this up and down sort of vertical format instead of the horizontal format. These are uh, two 12 megapixel cameras, and, uh, you know, obviously they let you do a lot of cool things. One has an aperture of uh, 2.4 and 1.8. 2.4, 1.8, .4, and of course you have your flash there. And again, the glass on the back, the glass on the front. And if you notice here too, you've got your little cutout for all the interesting things that happen on here. Okay, so let's talk about the no home button because normally you put your finger on here and it unlocks your phone with Touch ID. That no longer happens. So how do you unlock your phone? Well, you actually stare at it and I'm gonna get Sandy in here because um, it doesn't work with my face. It's called Face ID. So uh, see, it's locked. Oh, it, it already found your face. Hold on, let's lock it up again. Okay, so you see how it's locked? Now if I just kind of point it towards her face, look at that, look how fast it was. And now she just has to swipe up to uh, get to your home screen. You wanna see that one more time? All right, let's see how fast that was. One more time from a different vantage point. So I'm just gonna do this and turn on the phone. And you notice when she stares at it, it unlocks and now you have access to your phone screen. So it's that easy. Uh, they got that pretty good the first time around. Okay, so once you're in your phone, how do you navigate? So uh, let's say you're in your app store here. Uh, you can just go there. And uh, basically you're gonna swipe up from the bottom now to go to different apps. So that's your, your home button. And if you wanna go to uh, you know all of your apps, you kinda do a little half swipe there and you can toggle between them. And of course you can get out again. So because there's no home button, how do you access your control panel? Because you used to swipe up to get into that. Well, now it's over here in the corner. So you swipe down from the corner and you have access to all of the controls on your phone. And now you say, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, Rich. Well, now because I'm swiping down there, where are my notifications? I know, it gets crazy. So now you swipe over here on the left to see your notifications and it's telling me I have no older notifications. Uh, two new things here. Instead of swiping, well, I guess you can swipe for your camera still, so that's good to know. But you can also uh, force touch or uh, 3D touch that and you can get into your camera there. And you also have a little 3D touch for your flashlight. So you have easy access to your flashlight. Some people used to do some weird little hack on the screen back and forth to get into that. You don't have to do it anymore. Okay, so now that we're in here, let me um, show you something cool. So the thing a lot of people are talking about, the emojis. These are uh, animated emojis in iMessage. So you go into iMessage here, and this is just so much fun there. Apple's just showing off their uh, sort of augmented reality, cool camera mapping of your face here. So you go into your uh, iMessage and you can tap here and immediately you see this little guy? That's one of your emojis. So if I turn this way, you can see that the little monkey there is mimicking not only the movement of my mouth, but if I make funny expressions like, watch this. Ah, mm, mm, uh, oh, whoa. And you could take it a step further and record that for your friend. Are you coming to the party? And it will play that back to your friend. You can send that to them. And that's a fun thing as well. And of course, there are uh, 12 different emojis. And you see how it says face tracking failed? That's because it's not pointing at me. So if I tap and there, it picks me up right away. And it's mapping apparently like 50 different parts of my face. So when it latches onto that, it will automatically do that. Okay, let's see some of the fun ones you have. Uh, let's just go through them all. You've got the little little monkey, you've got a robot, you've got a kitty cat, yeah. you've got a dog, Ruff. <laughs> you have a evil alien. Oh, I guess it doesn't have to be evil. Aliens can be friendly. See? 
and now you have a fox. You have some, uh, what is this? Is this, uh, what is that, chocolate ice cream? That's what my kid thought it was. I don't think so. So you've got that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you've got a little pig. And okay, you've got a couple more. I'm not going to spend all day. But you see, you're going to have a lot of fun with the Animojis. Um, and it's just kind of one of the things that Apple does that's a lot of fun. Okay, so what else is different on this uh, device? Well, you have a new feature inside your camera. And this is taking really nice pictures from the camera. We are in a place that is very well lit, so obviously the pictures are gonna be really nice in here. But, um, you know, there you go. You can still swap between the uh, regular and the telephoto lens really fast. And the pictures look nice. Let's do a little selfie here. Hey, there's Steven. What's up, Steven? What up? And how great is it if you watched last year's video? Same guy, so <laughs> he hasn't around. left me yet. Still around. Okay, um, photographer Steven, thank you for shooting these every time. Let me show you the new um, in the portrait mode now, which by the way, you can do with the front facing camera. This used to only be available on the back camera. And now you have this new feature up here called lighting. So you can do natural light, which is just the lighting in here, or we can go now to studio light. And look at that, it actually looks like I'm in a fancy Hollywood studio. And then some of these just get downright scary. Uh, this is a stage light, but the background's too far. I can't show you that one. This is a stage light mono, which is uh, sort of monochromatic. And uh, then we have contour light, studio, and natural. And if you want to take a look at what that looks like, there's the uh, portrait lighting, and there's the regular lighting. So you can see it kind of really brightened up my face there. And watch this, just because I'm showing off, I'm just going to go home. Wow, just swipe that away to go home. Um, okay, so I think we've got most of the major features on the new phone. The one thing you'll notice, uh, Stephen. Uh, Wireless charging. Yes, that's what I was going to on the back. So you notice the back is now glass, and not only is it super grippy, which I love, um, but it also enables wireless charging. So you can take this and put it on a wireless charging pad. Am I brave enough to go over there? Can we go over here? Can I just show? Okay, ready? Do you guys mind if I just show this wireless charging? Okay, and look at that. You see it, wireless charging right there? Let's show that one more time. Bam, wireless charging. All because of that glass, and obviously the uh, smarts thrown into there. Okay, so you know it wirelessly charges. Now let's talk about when you can get your grubby little hands on this, or nice hands, whatever you have got. Um, mine are grubby after this point. So, oh, there's the face ID. Oh, wow, and you can still enter your passcode if it doesn't work. Um, so, $999, so start saving up for this right now. It comes out on November 3rd, so that's when it will be available. And I'm assuming it's gonna be maybe tough to get. Um, that comes out to about $50 a month if you do the uh, Apple monthly plan for two years. Um, but you'll probably be trading in a phone as well, so maybe you'll get a little bit of money off of that one as well. Um, that's for a 64 gigabyte version of this device. So if you wanna get the 256 gigabyte version, you know what, I don't even know what that price is, but it's a lot more than $999, so. Um, there you have it. Again, this is the iPhone 10. This is coming out on November 3rd. It is uh, quite the little device. And yes, it is still water resistant and dust resistant. And of course, because I don't, I'm, that's why, let's see. Just unlock that one more time. Okay, there we go. I, it kept going, you know, to the black screen because I didn't have it uh, locked. But again, there you have it. Um, this is running iOS 11. A lot of the things sort of uh, function in the same way, but it's gonna take some getting used to for the little swipe up function to uh, get to your apps and to also get out of your apps. So there you have it. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video on the new iPhone 10. Don't call it the iPhone X, even though I think that sounds a lot more mysterious, but uh, it is a beautiful device. It's lightweight and yeah. Did a really nice job on this one. So thanks so much for watching. You can find me on uh, Twitter and Facebook, richontech.tv, and share this video with your friends if you liked it, or comment with uh, whatever you want to comment about. I'm Rich Tamiro. See you later.